Welcome to the help video, Managing Data. In this video, we will discuss how to set up storage options to prevent data loss while using your ultrasound system. To prevent data loss, we recommend you regularly export your data. You have a couple of options. You can export data to a USB storage device and then transfer your data to a computer. Or you can connect your system to a DICOM archiver. To export data to a USB storage device, first connect the device to your system. Now, choose your USB device preferences. From the System menu, tap System Settings, then select USB. Choose the format you would like your images to be exported in, such as JPEG. There are a few other export options you can choose. Now that we have our export options selected, let's export some data. You'll need to select a study from the patient list, and then choose to send the study to your USB device. On the bottom of the screen, you will see a notification that the export is in progress. Please note that you can't export an open exam. You must end it first. Now let's talk about exporting data in DICOM format to USB. On the USB settings page, set your export option to DICOM. You can include certain types of structured reports in your export and choose image formats. You can also send data directly to an archiver. First, configure your DICOM preferences on the Connectivity Settings page and start configuring your DICOM connection. On the DICOM configuration page, set up your system's location and connections to a work list, archive, storage commit, and MPPS servers. If you have any questions, talk to your DICOM or IT administrator. If you are an administrative user, you also have the option of importing a DICOM setup from a USB device. When you configure your system's location, you can also select wireless connectivity options. If you have issues exporting your data, check your DICOM and export settings. For example, check the AE title, the IP address, and port number. For further assistance, you can send your system's logs to Fujifilm Sonosite Technical Support. Now it's time for you to explore on your own. Watch the help videos or refer to the system user guide.